Hello my lovelies and welcome back to another video. Today we're talking all about hairsprays. Do you apply your hairspray before you curl your hair or do you apply your hairspray after you curl your hair? Today I'm gonna to test the two and see which one produces the best results throughout the day, which curls last longer, which curls look better, all of that good stuff. And of course, I wanna thank Alta Beauty for sponsoring this video who are running their Hair Heroes Trend. For the month of July, it's all about hairsprays. Who doesn't love hairspray? So how I'm going to do this, I'm gonna spray hairspray on my left side first before I curl the hair. And then on the right side, I'm going to spray the hairspray once I'm done curling the hair. Let's begin. For the hairspray, I'm using the Chi. This is their Enviro 54 hairspray. I like this one because it's very versatile type of hairspray. It's very weightless, but it still adds a lot of hold and shine to your hair. So tip number one, more is not always better, especially with hairspray. You wanna have even distribution. I'll show you guys how I do that. And the second tip, I like to spray each section before I go in. And then to even distribution, I take a small little comb and I brush the hairspray out before I go in and curl the hair. And make sure you hold a hairspray can at least 10 to 12 inches away from your hair because you want a very light mist. So at least 10 to 12 inches away. And I'm doing very light spritz and then take a comb and just brush out through the hair to get even distribution and then curl the hair. And so for the right side, this is where I go in and curl the hair first and then apply my hairspray. My next tip is once I finish curl the hair while it's still warm, that's when I go and apply a very light layer of hairspray to that section that I curled. All right, let's move on and do the same exact thing to each side. So some other really great hairspray alternatives for what I'm doing, you want that versatile type of hairspray that you can still use and kind of brush out at the very end with your fingers. A really good option is the Kenra Volume Spray. I like that it gives volume. It's still really nice and strong hold and I can still work through it as well. And another great option is the Bedhead TJI their Masterpiece Hairspray. I like that one because it gives you really intense shine, but really strong hold as well. And then another option I like if I'm doing curling my hair first and then applying hairspray, I really like the Redken, their Fashion Work 12. That one, it's not as shiny. So if you like more of a matte, like a semi-matte finish, that one is definitely for you, but I really like how versatile it is. It's very pliable on your hair and it's just very comfortable to work with. Another tip is if your hair has a hard time holding the curl, try a hairspray. So now that I'm done curling my hair and I apply the last bit of hairspray, the next tip is you really wanna make sure you let your hair settle and do its thing. So the first thing is you wanna make sure the hair is cooled off completely from the heat. And then the next thing you wanna make sure the hairspray is nice and dry in the hair. So that way before you go tussle it, the hair is nice and settled. I do wanna mention another thing about hairsprays. Because there's so many different types of hairsprays, you have the super, the very touchable, the very lightweight types of hairsprays. For example, the sexy hair, they're so touchable hairspray. This one is really great if you do want a little bit of hold, but you still want to be really manageable with it. You don't want to have that like crunchy feeling, that really type of stronghold hairspray. This one is really great. And you have something like this. This one is one of my favorites for a really strong holds hairspray, the Sebastian Shaper Plus. This one is really strong hold. So when you're using a really strong hold hairspray, you wanna make sure you apply it after you're done styling. For example, if you are gonna brush out your hair after you curl your hair like this, you wanna make sure you brush it out and then you very quickly 
apply a hairspray because if you use a very intense strong cold hairspray a lot of the times you're going to break it apart and it's going to lose its intensity if that's what you're going for that's totally fine but if you want something super strong go for something like this to really lock in your hairstyle all right so let's break apart the hair very gently though because we want to be careful to not break apart the hairspray all that much so that's the next tip don't use a hairbrush unless that's what you're going for and then you're going to apply extra hairspray on top of that so keep in mind of what you're trying to do with your hairstyle i'm just going to flip my head upside down and kind of work the roots so it's a little bit more separated all right now that i'm happy with it as you can see the curls still have a lot of bounce to them they have shine and they don't look crunchy Now I'm gonna go on with my day. I'm gonna do quick little check-ins on my phone every so couple of hours just to see how the hair is holding up, how the curls are lasting, all of that good stuff. It's several hours later, first check-in. I'm looking and the curls look very similar. I feel like the left side, the curls are a little bit more tighter, a little bit more defined, but very, very small differences. Overall, they both look very similar and I think they're holding up pretty good. My curls will fall out to more of a very slight bend, very slight wave by the end of the day, just because I used a bigger barrel. All right, I'm gonna actually make some early dinner for us and then I will check in after dinner to see how the hair looks like, if there are any bigger differences and I'll see you guys soon. All right, I'm just doing a quick check-in. It is, I think it's already almost six o'clock just sitting here cleaning up the office space a little bit and basically just after dinner doing a quick check-in like I said I was gonna check in after dinner and this is what the hair is looking like right now I think it looks still pretty good I feel like on the right side mm, I think they still look pretty even even though I feel like left side maybe has a little bit more definition I think I'm gonna do two more check-ins I think I'll do one right before we go to the gym and then I'll do the very final one after the gym when we come back home. We just got to the gym. It's literally 9.20 at night. <laughs> Super late session, yeah. But you know what? Better late than never. So let's see the hair. I told Andre right away, the left side it still has a lot more definition in the curl versus the right side. The waves, it's not a curl now, it's more of a wave. It's very soft. I think the both still look really great. And this hair is going up into a ponytail because we are doing a little bit of quads today. Quads and calves. All right, I'll see you guys after my workout. You guys ready for the last update? I'm excited to see what the hair looks like. We were in the gym a total of 39 minutes, so nice and quick. Ooh, hair is a hot mess. Yeah, you can already see such a huge difference from the left to the right side. Even just looking at like this, the right side has a more of a wave, a very soft wave. This left side is still a little bit more defined, I would say. Even in the front pieces, just looking throughout. So what I'm noticing on my hair right now with this experiment that we did today, when I apply the hairspray before I curled the hair on each individual section, the curls lasted a little bit longer throughout the day and they stayed more defined throughout the day. But sometimes I don't have the time to use hairspray on every single section, so I'll just do it afterwards and I'm good with that. I hope this gives you some insight on the application of how you apply your hairspray, either before curling your hair or applying it after you curl your hair. If you guys wanna see what the hair looks like brushed out, this is what we have. Still looks so good. <laughs> yeah, I can see a bigger difference. There's a lot more curl happening here instead of on this side. And that completes the video, you guys. Thank you again to Alta Beauty who are running their hair heroes trend for the July. Again, it's all about hairsprays. Check out any one of these six options that I mentioned throughout the video. They all offer something to your hair life. 
But for now, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in another one very soon. Bye.